Hi Sagittarius, it's L here to do your September 2020 general reading. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Sag, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All right, so Sag, let's get into this, okay? Uh, thank you to, to those who have liked, shared, commented, subscribed. All right. So Sag, it looks like there's an ending to a cycle with a particular person could could be or could have been your husband, long term partner. There's a masculine energy here. For some of you, it can even be a father figure. You're no longer going back and forth wrestling with this energy because um, something didn't turn out the way you thought it would turn out. You could be dealing with um, with the emperor here, Aries. A Taurus, any 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 person, um, or this could be you, Sag. You're just deciding to move forward, deciding to put this behind you. Closure. You're gonna have a structured ending to this. Some of you wanted clarity with the Ace of Swords in the world, but I think you had to kind of create your own clarity and closure because you have. The shell, it says stop. Whatever you were doing, if you were trying to manifest closure or an ending by way of magic, the the shells, the cards, just say stop because this is over, okay? This cycle is over. You're going into, um, these are the playing cards, so they have different meanings, but you're going into a very, um, a very good, um, cycle of a, a better cycle okay because you're putting down something that um was turbulent uh burdensome troublesome uh this might have been a relationship where you were the only one carrying the weight of the relationship maybe you were the only one making plans you were the only one asking how's the, rela the relationship going you were the only one spending money spending time you know just providing you were the only one providing so you were carrying the relationship providing in whatever manner you think so you decided to be done with with this situation it was heartbreaking it still left you with unanswered questions but you had to be and you have to be done with it it says that the journey is over okay um, this journey with this particular person Maybe with a privileged person, someone who, you know, maybe use their looks to get what they want, their charm, their charisma. I don't know. Whatever happened here, it left you or the other person asking, did you ever love me? Okay. Um, because sometimes... A, you or the other person exhibited maybe mental issues, you know, and someone is saying, yes, I have mental issues and this is not a laughing matter. You know, maybe they do have mental issues, ones that they have addressed with therapy and medication or ones that they have not. Um, but, but those are there. It looks like this cycle with this person is ended or ending because you've already, you found somebody else that you could, you got two aces in regards to this person. This is the engagement ring. This is the new love, new friendship. This is the soulmate card, also a good Samaritan. This person may have a good heart, whomever you found. It could be an air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, anybody. Everybody's here. Um, at first, you were hung up. On you kept replaying a situation, so you were stuck in your thoughts in regards to someone else, and then it, it started to keep you up at night, and it started maybe to mess with you during the day, maybe even in this new relationship. But now the cards are asking you to put this down because you have the shell of marriage, you could actually marry this person. You could actually be very happy with this new person.
since there's a lot of desire between you and this new person, um, they're really driven. This could be you too, Sag. Um, this person helps you stay focused, driven, motivated. Maybe they have the same background or same lifestyle or you guys are coming from the same era. I'm not sure. But at one, at one time you had a choice of lovers. And I think you, you're putting that down. You're letting one situation die. The coffin is here. And you're going into a new courtship. And that's really good. Because the cards say that this is good for you. It could turn out really well. Move forward. You may be saying to this person, or they may be saying to you, I had an emotional void before, but you filled it with your love. Okay? So, very nice. This person is bringing a lot about a lot of healing. A lot of better feelings. In the past, this person... This other person made you so mentally frustrated. And it might because it might have been an air of narcissism because they have a card of, I just like hearing myself talk. Okay? So they may say things they don't mean. They just go on and on and on and on. Um, they keep you on the line. They keep you on the hook. But the cards are saying, uh, stop. Yeah, the stop show. Okay, I'm not going to say that. Yep. So just stop, stop right, right there and whatever you're doing, stop. It is, um, it's not good for you. Some of you were having two relationships and you're going to cut one out. I feel like I'm talking to a sad man. I don't know. But some, someone had two people and they're going to cut one of them out because some, both of them wanted money. Both of them wanted, um, had their own separate interests. It might be a, a thing of maybe not even being able to afford this monetarily and um, or just not wanting to afford it. So somebody's getting cut out. We see that here. Um, we see that there was a triangle. There could have been a triangle with you, Sag, also. Um, you could have separated yourself from a triangle. Someone could have cut you out. Hey, the, I don't know your life. You only know your life. Drill this down how it works for you. Because there was somebody who was actually in the relationship, trying to carry the relationship, actually courting the other person. And this person, could be a woman, was a dating queen. She was keeping options open. You weren't the only one. Okay, um, and this could have been a past love. You know, you, you might have known this person for a while now. And you've kind of done away with that. You, you don't want that. Because now, some of you have true love. Very nice. And you're dating this person. You're getting to know them. You're in a real courtship with this person. Because the feelings are reciprocated. You could have fair skin. Someone could have fair skin. There could be another male here who has fair skin. But they're taking center stage. So they play some part in this, okay? Sad, you may feel a lot for this new person. But you, you might not be saying anything or vice versa. You might be saying, I can't express myself in words, so I hope you figure it out through my actions. You may be doing a lot of, of small things for this person as you can um, or vice versa. They're doing a lot for you. You just want them to know that they're appreciated or vice versa. Someone is about to call or text you. Not sure who that is. It might be someone that you are estranged from. 
let's jump into career and finance, okay? It looks like a cycle is ending here also. Looks like you're getting to a place of want, having better karma, better energy surrounding you. Okay? Um, some of you could be waiting for a large sum of money. Some of you um, could just be waiting for this, for your shifts to come in, for the tide to turn, for you to have better luck. It's coming for you. You're going to have victory. And you might even have a bit of jealousy. You might even have to stand your ground in regards to other people, what they're trying to do or say. It looks like for some of you, I could be speaking to some of my Sagittarius women. A lot of um, financial security is going to come by way of a new love or a new marriage. Like, you're getting everything. You're getting a new new love, you're getting a new career because we have occupation here. And then we have job in the shelves. Pretty sure you can't see that. Anyway, we have job in the shell. And you have occupation. So some of you you're gonna go back to school, you're gonna learn some things. Maybe even it could be self taught. It could be going back to a facility, uh, a school and learning. Some of your family could even be jealous of you. Okay. Um, expect high honor. People knowing your worth because you've shown it to them by way of your hard work and your endurance, your perseverance. Expect high honor expect money because it is here for you in a, in the distant horizons okay it is coming for you you've been working hard for this this could come around maybe your birthday maybe around piscean time next year maybe around you know your season sad season some things could really come to fruition. You could have marriage. Late now, this would be a late marriage for some of you. It's not going to be that you're you're young people. You're not super old either, but you know. Right now, sad your money is fluctuating, but it's going to get better. It's going to stabilize. Okay. The cards want you to. Believe in the impossible. When there's a blue moon, know that the impossible is happening for you, okay? The cards want you to show the world the, the real you. Full moon in Aquarius, okay? Um, and Aquarius could be significant around the time of Aquarius season. It could be significant for you. And it says, surrender to the divine. Some of you are going against the grain, not wanting to let cycles in. And so it was just so hard because you, the universe was going this way and you were going that way. So, you know, you guys were not meeting each other. And now I think you're letting cycles in so you be constantly moving together. So that is really good for you. Um. The cards are also asking you to bring love into the situation. Some of you just are mad at somebody. And it's, and it's okay because you have to honor all of your feelings. An Aquarius can be very significant for you. When you have it in your charts, you get three cards that say Aquarius, right? Or two. Two cards that say Aquarius. Um... Yes. Um, where was I? I completely lost the train of thought. Um, yeah. Bring love into the situation because some of you are just absolutely upset with someone and it could be valid, you know? Um, but they're asking you to just shed love and light here to be upset, to be mad at them. is a waste of time, energy, effort. Don't let them get a rise out of you. Um, move on. 
understand that somebody here might have real mental issues. Okay. Someone is asking you or telling you, you know, if you love me, show it. This might be this new person. I'm not, I'm not sure. Someone is communicating with you through music or you are, okay? Um, very interesting reading, Sag. This is really about you closing out the cycle, going into newness. Um, here are some of the the practical witches spells that maybe you can do to bring in um, better energy for you. So we have the card of the blessing bowl. Um, I won't read everything here, but if you're if you're looking to have more prosperity, blessings, gifts in your life, um, to kind of uh, heighten your aura. Take advantage of that. And what I'll do is take pictures of these and I'll post them for you. Also, the new moon candle uh, consecration. So it says if you're looking for love, and I'm pretty sure we all are. So you want to take advantage of this. And these are practical spells. So it's nothing far out. Like you don't have to go stand in the rain at 2 a.m. with a, your umbrella closed, one boot on, one sock. No, none of that. Okay. Um. You just need two pieces of rose quartz. You can find it at your local, you know, um, <laughs> I was going to say your local rock store. Okay, those might not exist. <laughs> um, it's kind of late. Your local, um, how it's a, it is eluding me, but you know, your, um, your candles store. Um, crystal, crystal, your crystal shop. You know, you can find those there. Okay. Um, <laughs> and the next spell is Thor's Day Spell. Thor's Day Spell. Um, this is about helping you resolve a problem or un uncovering new resources within inside yourself. Wow. So some of you, you know, you want to make money doing something else or you just want to be more resourceful. This is very good. Okay. Um, take advantage of that. Let's leave you with some advice, Sag. Not a lot of communication cards in terms of, you know, if somebody's looking for a, a conversation to be had, I don't think it's going to happen. It's just about moving forward um, and closing out cycles. Yeah, grief work, doing that work, moving forward, closing out a cycle, grieve the loss of, or, uh, yeah, grieve the loss of. Okay, let's just show them out. So we have spiritual growth. Some of you are growing spiritually. Okay. New career. We saw that in the cards. Very nice. Um, and it looks like it's going to be very fruitful, successful for you, a windfall. And you guys are waiting for that. We saw that also. It is a, it is coming to you. We also had the card, the card of expectation and the will of fortune. So a windfall, a windfall of good energy, good luck, or money is coming to you. So very nice for you, Sagittarius. I hope that this reading resonated for you. If it did, go over to the website, book your own reading there, or... You can take advantage of the text to question. You can text the question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that. Thank you, Sagittarius. Uh, have a really good night or a day. Many blessings to you.